Hey, what's up guys, Growing the Hobby, coming back to you guys with another break, another baseball break, part three of our little mini-series here. You guys can see the product before you, we're going to do the last four boxes of the 14 of these I got from a case of the 2023 Topps Archive Signature Series. We get one encased buyback autograph per box. I did pick up 14 of the 20 boxes from the case at my LCS for six boxes were gone before I could get there. I know in one of the boxes, uh, they opened it inside the store and got a one-of-one one Ichiro autograph, so I thought I was doomed based on that, but I decided to take the chance anyway, and to be honest, I am very glad I did. We're going to do a recap of the parts one and part two after we open these four boxes here, show you guys what I got out of everything, so you know what I got in all 14 boxes total. The other five, other than that Ichiro, the other five, uh, you know, whoever bought them, I think, you know, from the store or whatever, I don't know what's in those, so... Tough to say, but we know we had at least four one ones So let's see if we can add to that today. Maybe get another Hall of Famer. Hey, I'll take it. I'll take it. Not uh, when I'm looking at anything Oakland. I mean, it wasn't the right design and stuff like that. But when I look at Oakland, I was thinking Ricky Henderson. That would have been really, really nice. But I'll take that. Miguel Tejada. I don't mind that one at all. I like Miggy. Uh, out of 13. There you go. Tops 206. And that... Uh, is from 2003. So Miguel Tejada, not too bad. All right, card number one. And these come in at a price point of about $70. So it is tough to get your money back, but I think we did pretty well, to be honest, in this case, or at least our 14 boxes part of the case. And if we'd have had that each row, man, I can't even imagine. Oh, there's an old school looking one, huh? But uh, Bartolo Colon. That is not a signature you see every day. Wow. All right, out of 46, the big man, Bartolo Colon. Very interesting there. Again, it's not one you see every day from 2017, Arch or I'm sorry, Heritage, in that 1968 throwback design right there, Bartolo Colon. Okay, let's get one more bang. We've got two boxes left, two more lottery tickets. Can we get a one-on-one? Can we get a Hall of Famer? Can we get something big? I'd love to get a redemption or one of those dual... Uh, like it says on the sides here, the dual auto cards. That would be insane. I'd love to get one of those. I'm not going to hold my breath, though. Those are pretty hard to hit. All right, second to last box is a Garrett Anderson. Garrett Anderson, so not the biggest one there. Garrett Anderson, and that is... Looks like it's out of 13. 12 of 13 on that Garrett Anderson. Um, again, nothing too insane there from 2003 tops. So... This part four here, or I'm sorry, part three is a little bit lacking maybe compared to the others. You guys will see what I mean here momentarily when we do the recap if you haven't seen the videos of the other parts. Here's our last chance, last box of this, um, our part of the case, I should say, the 14 boxes that we got. So let's see. Come on. Can we get a Hall of Famer? Can we end with something big? Hey, I'll take it. You know what? I'll take it. Keith Hernandez. Not too shabby there. I like that one. I do like Keith Hernandez. It's out of 57. Um, pretty cool stuff. It is tops. Uh, we did hit no OPG in the other one, so that's why I was double-checking here. But uh, 88 tops, Keith Hernandez. And I was a big Seinfeld fan, so that's kind of a little bit extra cool to me. So Keith Hernandez. So not too bad there. Let's do a quick recap here now of what we got in all 14 boxes. So you guys know what we got here today. Again, I'll fly through them really quickly for today, and then I'll show you guys the others. Keith Hernandez out of 57, the Garrett Anderson out of 13. Everything here is on card. Uh, Bartolo Colon out of 46, Miguel Tejada out of 13. The previous parts, and these are kind of combined into one, maybe build a little bit of, uh, I don't know, how do I want to set this? I'll just set it like this. All right. Uh, we got the Jay Buhner out of 17, Travis Ishikawa out of 80, Jason Wirth was our first one of one. We got an Eric Davis out of 20. Julio Franco out of 95. Wongo, Juan Gonzalez out of 28. Old school in here. Frank Howard out of 16. Our bigger ones here as we go down. Jose Canseco out of 21. The old Kmart cards there. How about a one? Actually, I'm going to pull it up like this to not spoil the next card. How about a one of one? Eddie Murray in the 86 tops design there. Beautiful card right there. Hall of Famer Eddie Murray. And finally, how about the one of one from uh, 2021? Um, 
yeah, top 70th anniversary, the die cut cards here that uh, I've seen so much. Platinum players, Cal Ripken Jr., one of one. So, again, not a bad case, honestly. I don't know what was in um, the five boxes that were unaccounted for. I know, again, that the one of one Ichiro was in one of those boxes. That would have been insane to hit. I mean, just imagine if I could have taken, like, the Jason Worth and traded that for an Ichiro one of one. That would have been insane. But, uh, yeah, and then who knows what was in the other five boxes. But I'm, I'm fairly happy with the 14 boxes we got. A couple of really, really big cards, big Hall of Famers, some one ones and stuff. So, yeah, there you guys go. That is the recap plus break of 14 boxes in total of 2023 Topps Archive Signature Series. Please do me a favor, like, subscribe, share, click that bell notification button to be notified of future videos. Lots more of them coming to you guys. As always, in the description below, you can find my email address, mailing address, and Instagram handle. Other than that, have a great day, a great night, wherever you all are at, and we will see you next time.